Hello everybody, welcome to my replay analysis of my recent match against Murloc Joe. Um, Murloc Joe had, uh, I can't remember the record now, but it was something like 119 lost 5 orcs um, that were 460 TV above me. So I cheated in 10k and got uh, Griff Oberwald and the Wizard. Um, let's see who was it there. So he, I ended up having two reserves and he had two reserves as well. Um, he won the toss, I believe, and chose to receive. Um, had I, or maybe I won the toss and made him and chose to kick because obviously the idea is if I defend with 11 players, like I was happy to kick because I've got my wizard, defend with 11 players, hopefully, you know, use the wizard early to turn him over and score is my whole plan, really. Got these two agility four guys, one with dodge. He's got a few tackle, he's got like three tackle. Um, only two mighty blow guys and a piling on mighty blow guy so it wasn't actually as, as scary as it could have been though it was still very scary of course it was scary enough um, you don't really like your armor 7 getting smashed by mighty blow every turn uh, obviously I'm doing chase cam here because it was, was Murloc Joe's as invented by Fashbinder um, it was Murloc Joe's offence so it's and this is good for me because it gives me a bit of a different view of it doesn't it and these are all oh, right. So that that was straight away. It was good for me actually. The riot. Um. Obviously, yeah. Poor graphics is a shame, but never mind. Got to, got to do it on my uh, laptop here. And he goes first blocks of death. I'm like, oh no, this is going to be horrible. So choosing to make both of his mighty blow blocks against peasants, which is a good shout, even though it makes it. A bit worse for the whole, you know, the chaining, couldn't have chained blocks as easily. But um, I would have done the same there for sure. Well, not exactly the same, but mostly the same. Getting some men in contact. Um. <laughs> So, you know, this is this. I I know what happens next. So this is a good reason to not hurt up base base base, as we're about to find out. So you know, he, he randomly based some people here. Um, I guess his thinking is that he might get to punch somebody or force a dodge, but still. Obviously, my reaction was to simply blitz this guy with my tackle. And initially, I was going to make this two dice block, uh, but for some reason, oh, because I wasn't standing these guys up, I thought I don't want his pommer to be able to hit whoever's there. So you know, th I could have made this a two dice block. It wouldn't have cost me much to make it a two dice block, and then KO'd him. So I mean, that that was uh, that was his fault, <laughs> you know. That he, he was he was sad about that one dice into a KO, but you know, he he put him there and uh, paid the price. So there you go. Now obviously, the only the only weapon that I have here is the edge four guys, and that that that's what it was. I would have had to expose one, and I think that's why I made that dodge. Probably was to try and protect this agility four guy, um, who's probably going to get blitzed right now. Yep, standard. So good job that my one peasant left on the pitch is down, so he couldn't get couldn't get seventy five percent knocked down. And then, of course, the guy that I had to bring in to make that a one dice gets KO'd. So that was, <laughs> that, was that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> so it ended up an even trade anyway. Now I'll have to excuse this steam in the corner there. I've got no choice but to stream the desktop at the moment. So I I could have thought, but I did kind of this crap picture because of the bloody uh, stadium that Mel Joe's got of the uh, no weather. But, um, you know, I, I considered the, the wizard there, but obviously my players are just too far away. So I thought, right, hit somebody, 
hit a dodger with tackle again. You never know, you might break their armour, might you? And uh, obviously basing with the blood wasn't so scary, was it? And uh, I went a bit rowdy here, didn't I? Went a bit rowdy getting in contact. I guess they were already in contact, so this let me do something. Just trying to set up for the wizard when I get when I get the chance. Another one dice, right? It's a two plus roll, isn't it? It's not crazy when you've got when you've got a team that's thoroughly outstrength like this. Outstrength by quite a lot, outguarded by a hell of a lot. Like he's got so much guard here compared to me. Three, four, five, six, and a seventh one that I luckily KO'd. So he had he had a huge guard advantage. And the strength advantage. And then yeah, obviously he sets up the tackle hit on the lodger, which uh, maybe I shouldn't have allowed. Seeing as I gave up the chance to two dice the black off the previous turn to stop that. But he piles on, and then I was happy about him doing that really because I thought now he's piled on, he's like that takes him out of position a bit, doesn't it? Now with this, it exposes the ball a little bit because I because I'd uh, gone more central with everybody with the playmakers. Um, it did put him under, and now he's done the worst thing he could, which like obviously against a wizard you want to keep your whole team. Oh, well, maybe a wizard, but like a fast team with agility, like Skaven. You want to keep your whole team together, and he's straight away he stranded his uh, his ball carrier here. So I was, I just did one, made a dodge with agility four. One dice blitz from Griff. Um, I was lacking other options really, but a push. You know, was obviously would have been not great because it'd been a three plus two plus out, but I would have wouldn't have minded it. Um, but yeah, I got pretty lucky there. This guy dodged through. Now here, I could have gone here, obviously, to screen off the sideline. But I didn't really mind him being here because I thought that protects Griff. And uh, yeah, fit in then one in nine that dodge there, which is a bit unlucky, really, because I could have just gone for this. He was, he could have, you know, done, gone somewhere as well. But yeah, I, I thought if I put him there, he's gonna get blitzed. And uh, I don't know, maybe I should have put him there, you know. I, it would have screened it off. There you go, it kills another guy. I pulled that because I thought, you know, it's a bit of a. I thought I had to pull that because I thought it might have been a, a snowball effect if I, if I have, if I'm down players. So obviously he just knocks everybody over. But, you know, I really should have screened this out because it would have dictated where he played. But he, the thing is, yeah, I was I was, a, I was out of range of the pommer of Griff. So he wasn't going to hit by Mighty Blow. So I, I guess I probably should have put him here. But in my head, it was good to not do that. And in the end, he made a somewhat irrelevant blitz on that guy. So I wasn't punished. But you know, it's how does he keep the ball safe? You know, I was a bit of a bit of a overreaction, I think, by Murloc Joe running back like that last turn. And then he came in for the the GFI handoff. But I mean it's just so exposed to the wizard here, isn't it? It was so obvious. I didn't need to think for a second, it was insta wizard. Lucky he didn't catch it, so I didn't have, didn't have to power him. And obviously it's a pretty nice scatter for me. Griff, Griff comes in. Clears the TZ. Edge 4 comes in. Passes it the other edge 4. And then he's away. So... Obviously, I wanted to stall it a bit longer because um, he could score in three turns quite easily, couldn't he? But failed the dodge. So yeah, I would have, I would have liked to have stalled it for another turn, but obviously, oh sorry, two turns. Yeah, so I was, I'd be giving him a two turn here. Whereas if I do, and then he obviously he got the pile, he got the pile Griff, but didn't get the pile on. 
Maybe. Oh no, he would have got the pile on, but he didn't. He did a he did a very clever play there, didn't he? Of uh, pushing into the stand firm, so that he would have been able to pile on even against Fenn. So that was that was a good move. I thought I liked that. I liked that he that he he thought of that or saw it or whatever. Um. So yeah, I mean this has been pretty good. Only three, well, four players down. Um, but you know the wizard and I would have liked to have tried to stall it out so he wouldn't have had the two turn chance but there was just no way was there as down players as I was totally you know totally got him so straight in don't even risk rolling dice because I need the rerolls to stop his two turn touchdown attempt potentially Guy stayed KO'd from that one dice block. <laughs> so yeah, still still an eleven in the at the end, which is pretty good. And he obviously had the reserve, so he's on eleven. So yeah, I, had, I decided to go wide, and I thought. Normally I'd put the peasants on the LOS, but I thought if I put them at the sideline, it's going to be harder for him to uh, break through when he, you know, when he can't follow up, which isn't really make a lot of sense because you're not really going to want to follow up and be in the tackle zone anyway. But for some reason, I thought um, I thought them on the sidelines was good, and then the dodge guys on the inside to, as kind of like the sweepers, and obviously the the wrestle on the LOS might. Uh, might create some gaps in the LOS, I thought. A really deep kick, I mean he's pretty much screwed now. But I, I guess actually thinking about it, I probably should have put the peasants on the LOS and then the Fend might have... Uh, might have done something good, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what what the right defense was really. Obviously, Pom. I had to expose one of the blitzers. It doesn't pile on there, strangely. is GFI to get in scoring range and two GFIs for him makes the pick up and so I mean obviously I've just got to knock one down haven't I with nah, but then he's, he's based the tackle so I want to try to knock one down and then base the other one heavily Oh, but obviously, yeah, I could use Wrestle, because Wrestle gives the same chance of knockdown as Tackle would. So, yeah, I was okay with that. Got the Wrestle, which was good enough. So there's only this guy. And went with the, went with the maximizing blocks. Maybe I should have used that guy to uh, protect the scoring threat. Rather, but, you know, obviously I wanted to protect myself from the Pom. And then... I guess what I should have done was here, was not moved him there. He should have gone there um, to screen. And then I made a peasant dodge when I should have made a blocker dodge. But it was a one in two, so it would have failed anyway. So it was a one in nine, but I, I let it be a one in four. But I guess I should have uh, I should have put him there first and then dodged him out to go to there or something. I don't know. Should have just done it a bit differently, I guess. Oh, but the reason I was put dodging him out was so that he could go there, and then he could... Yeah, so I don't know, maybe it's, it's hard to say it was just absolutely wrong, I guess. Um, anyway, he gets two dice, thanks to guard. Kills a, kills a peasant. And then he's just a three plus dodge out, isn't he, which is pretty easy. Mm. 
of uh, relevant blocks before his scoring attempt, but obviously he's not. And he, he had to do the handoff pass because if he went for the pass straight to him, then obviously I'd have an, a uh, catch interceptor. So that forces his hand for the handoff pass play. At this point, obviously, I'm pretty upset that he's made every single roll here. <laughs> And then, unbelievably, he won in nines the catch. Which leads me to pray to Ducky <laughs> for, a, uh, for the surf attempt. Try to power him, just because it would have made going through easier. Got the push. And got the cars. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. So that was that was incredibly lucky, wasn't it? That he failed the, he failed the catch and then got cars as a result. But then you know he made all the rolls up to that point, so he, he can't he can't complain too too much that he uh, failed the, the last one. And that guy stayed KO'd. <laughs> so that was effectively became a Kaz at this point, didn't it? Because now, um, switch view to the chase cam. Now, obviously, if I score on my offense, I go 2 0 up and it's, it's basically game over. So he goes, he goes for the Jock McRowdy defense here. Um, I don't know if it's known by any other name, but this, this defensive setup is what Jock McRowdy uses all the time with elves mostly. Um, you know, because he protects these four guys that can then run around and do stuff. I think I'm a few players down. Maybe just one player down at this point. And then blitzed. Oh, yeah, one player down. I was like, that's not good, is it? Getting hit by getting hit by piling on Mighty Blow instead of instead of making three LOS blocks. And he gets his armor broken. And he gets KO'd, so I'm, now I'm starting with nine players, and instead of being able to make three blocks and a blitz, have pretty much everybody base in base to base contact with an orc. Um, wasn't ideal. I don't like that GFI there. Pretty, pretty seemed pretty random. And I think I would have based this peasant up just cause. Maybe he's could have tried to base Griff. In fact, definitely should have based Griff. Because he, he kind of, you know, my first play was to just pass, pick it up, pass it to Griff. <laughs> you know, and then because he did kind of overcommit quite a bit, didn't he? Uh, well, I wouldn't say overcommitted. Committed quite, quite heavily um, with the Blitz. So I thought I'll try and bust out. And uh, yeah, pass it to Griffin and run away was was the plan. Obviously, that was his only tackler. Um, I, was, I, I think I should have GFI'd once there because um, I left Griffin not in t scoring range, and obviously I'm okay with scoring a, a quick touchdown. Um, being 1-0 up and then I went for these dodges because I thought they weren't doing that much where they were like payoff was quite good for succeeding the dodges wasn't it though I should have screened here I should have maybe GFI'd with that peasant so there would have been a screen there or GFI'd with a GFI'd with the uh, wrestle guy to make a screen but I guess it wouldn't have mattered because he got blitzed down anyway Yeah, 
I guess I, I guess I should have made the GF5. Uh. Because at this point, I just wanted to score with Griff this turn, <laughs> and and I was one square shot. Yeah, there's a bodyguard line off. Um, but there you go. So luckily, he went for that dodge and failed it. I don't think he should have made that personally, um, because he was in a, he was in a good spot there. Sure, he could have got surfed, but he just opened it up for me to run through here, didn't he? Um, so I've got dodge. I didn't want to fail the one in nine to, with this dodge here. Right? I didn't want to rely on this one in nine. So I found I found a better play here, which I was rather proud of, because I had this guy back here. So obviously, try to do it without rolls if possible. The safest moves first, but then a couple of GFIs to blitz. And of course, roll one. And then roll the four, so I would have made the dodge as it happened. <laughs> but I got him down, which then let me uh, run the peasant around to complete the screen. So I was pretty happy with that. And then obviously went for the dodge, which would have made it really safe. And one in nine, the dodge. But um, yeah, you know, so he was, that would have made it totally safe, I think, if he had been there. But as it is, he gets to make three plus dodges, doesn't he? With, uh, to get through and try and hit Griff. Wrestle being kind of all right, I guess. Yeah, so he gets a, a dodge with dodge, which is fair, isn't it? And now he's got a dodge and one dice. I couldn't believe that he hasn't had to use his reroll yet. I was a bit disappointed. But luckily for me, he gets two dice with tackle in the end and only gets a push. But yeah, I think maybe he shouldn't have dodged out that with his with his dodge guard or the turn before. Maybe. Hard to say, isn't it? Especially when you know how the dice have happened. I think I do something kind of random here. Oh yeah, I thought about it and worked out that it was better just to go for the dodges with Griff, I think. Yeah, because with that with that pal, I can dodge out and run this way. So I thought I'd put players in in case the dodge fails. Oh yeah, if I powered him, I could have dodged out that way and not had a GFI. But by not powering him out, I've got to make a GFI, but obviously have sure feet. And Griff succeed. Ed, and he's very good. So that was good. I mean, and 2-0 up. It's not really safe, because obviously, you know, um, his team's still a lot better. That guy's still knocked out, so now he's officially a casualty. Um, and one came back. So, it is 11 for Joe and only 10 for me. So, like, he could still come back to it, couldn't he? He's got the LOS blocks. He's, he's still got the potential to make this 2-2. Score as quick as he can, then turn me over for the 2-2. Uh, but, um, you know, I thought... Rather than trying to stop the two turner, I'll just try to protect my players because I was I was honestly confident that even if he did score in two, with Griff, I would be able to uh, stall it out, at least not get turned over again. Yeah. And got perfect defense. Oh, I should switch view to chase cam. So then the. Yeah, the perfect defence, Just I just gave up hits and then moved. Because he'd like kind of gone down one side, hadn't he, to get the two-turner. Maybe I should have covered the sideline. I probably did badly here. I probably should have covered the sideline. Seeing as this is where both of his blitzers were. Oh, he's got a movement seven blitzer with a ball. Much better than a movement five thrower. And it was a sweet kick, actually, as it turned out, in tackle zone. So 
So yeah, I guess I didn't I didn't defend very well against this. Yeah, I could I could have just elf screened it, couldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it would have been I just could have shut down the score. But instead <laughs> I thought, ah, he probably won't score anyway. <laughs> Which is pretty crap. And he got the he picked up the ball and uh filled the GFI. But of course, at this point, he's got he's got men in contact again, hasn't he, on, on offense? Which isn't good. Um as we're about to find out. So Dauntless failed, but got the one dice power. Which was pretty lucky. Didn't follow up the block. Got incredibly lucky here getting the POW to take out the guard. That was just ridiculously lucky. Because if I had just been a push, as it probably would have been, he'd have been flanked by a guard. But that lets me get in for the one dice on the ball. Get the POW. Thank you very much. Maybe I should have followed? Should have, oh no, but then I wasn't following because I could block him as well. Um, because I thought if I powered him I could run around that side, but really, running around that side wasn't that viable, so I probably should have followed, and then I'd been basing the Black Hawk on this guy. So then here we go, the, the 3 plus 2 plus to get through with the Edge 4 Dodger. And Griff going for some 3 plus 2 pluses as well, but then double one. So that was a shame because there would have been some good there would have been a, some good cover for him if I could have made that 3 plus 2 plus. I could have gone for a 4 plus 3 plus with dodge and stuff like that. But, um. And then, unbelievably lucky there, surviving, surviving 4 dice with tackle. Um, <laughs> so he was about what? He was about 80% to knock me over there, wasn't he, by using the reroll? Um. So, you know, it's funny because obviously what I probably should have done was shut down the touchdown by uh, elf screening with a perfect defence. But as it worked out, it actually worked out in my favour doing what I did because I was able to have him to get the steal. And he did, he did a good job of getting around here. There was no real way to blitz out due to the guard. Um, but of course, he's only got one tackle. So I'm thinking it's a 3 plus 2 plus to dodge away. And I can team reroll the first one. Which isn't crazy, is it? So, Oh, I don't have a team rerolls left. I've got no rerolls. So a 3 plus without a reroll, then a 2 plus with a reroll. But um, I think I just thought, screw it then. Obviously, get to move these guys up. Completely ignore his scoring threat. But get some players around in case I do fail. Fail the three plus. Did he come over here? Yeah. Clever. Clever, Jim. And then did the three plus two plus. Luckily... And then I thought about the two GFIs, and I thought, Do you know what? If I make if I make them, I've just won, haven't I? <laughs> Once I'm three nil up, I've definitely hundred percent won. So I just thought, screw it, and did the GFIs. But maybe I shouldn't have done. Uh, maybe I should have because it, it, the orcs were slow. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have made those GFIs. But I just saw, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought screw it so obviously at 3-0 up it's absolutely 100% safe now he would have to score in two turns and then get a blitz and score then get another blitz and score so it's about as safe it's going to get oh yeah he did have he did have a movement 7 tackle blitzer yeah so he, he would have he would have he could have caught us that was it yeah he would have had to have made like uh, something like 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus to 1 dice me or something which ultimately with him having a reroll was better odds than me failing one of the two GFIs so I wasn't just stupid I didn't just see glory um, so that's the thing
so yeah, obviously now I'm really not trying to stop them scoring. I'm just protect my players. Uh, Griff goes on the front line because why should I care about him? He's a star player. So he's, he's at this point he's just a sacrificial, a sacrificial lamb with the uh, with the peasants there. And then, oh, pretty unlucky to get a touchback. That obviously gives him half a chance of running forward for the touchdown. So yeah, you know, he makes some, he makes some blocks. Makes another Shawnee. Otherwise known as a go for it. And uses the relies on Pro to re-roll it, which was ballsy but paid off. Griff being being dodgy was good. And he manages, funnily enough, to protect the to protect the ball with his GFIs. So like while well, technically I could have tried to come round the back to hit the ball carrier, I just thought at this point I didn't care if he scores, I just want to blitz his piling on guy and then foul him <laughs> that was pretty much all I was interested in I was going to blitz him and then foul him the agility fall guy to um just to you know get myself sent off and be safe and at that, after, after that failed I thought I'll make some kind of uh, some kind of screen I guess he should have been one square back to be level with him Griff failed his dodge. Griff was going to... I was going to base the ball with Griff because I just wouldn't have cared if he died. And he, get, he gets quite a good odds for, for the score here in the end. It would have been better if he'd been back on, I think. Oh. This six month subscribers on the screen, isn't it? I don't know why that's happened, but never mind. Um But yeah, he makes the dodges through. Five plus, four plus, three plus. Hmm. I think the tackle back here would have been better, but it doesn't matter in the end. He makes, he makes the, he makes all the dodges and the GFIs, and uh, I don't know why there's six months subscribers here. That's oh, there you go. It's good. good. Some nice old titties for you. <laughs> um, So yeah, I mean, it's still like, I don't know, I could have re-rolled a hit on the Pommer, but I really, you know, I thought the game was won, so I thought I'll just save the re-roll for like uh, one of my guys getting hurt, you know, like a double skull or whatever. It was I don't think it was that important to put the guy down. But, and here, obviously, what I should have done, as somebody in chat said, I should have just gone for passes in the backfield, one agility four or the other. And just you know, try to make two completions, um, but like a dickhead, I went for the four-one. I just thought I'll try and score with Griff, potato down with Griff, 
and uh, you know try to make it try to make it a funnier scoreline. And also by doing that with Griff, it means his blitz is going to go on Griff's because I just thought he wouldn't want to lose four one, which essentially wouldn't mean anything. Like obviously winning three one or one nil or four nil are all the same, aren't they? So I really, I mean, I was. It was absolutely right what chat said. I should have just passed between the agility four guys. I like that, pushing him further away from the ball with a chain. And kind of made a bit of cover for Griff here. Just a little bit. Nothing amazing though. And offered up the peasant as a sacrifice. Just grip, <laughs> running out there like a dickhead. <laughs> you know, it wasn't such a, it wasn't such a great play really. It was pretty easy for him to get one or two dice on the ball, but I just, you know, man, the main reasoning was that he would have to hit Griff if he wanted to stop the touchdown, which he randomly did. So it worked out quite well. It did save the team a bit, I guess. Save the team a bit of attrition. Didn't make a pom blitz. Even if he blitzed the rookie blitzer with a pom, I'd rather he hit Griff, wouldn't I? So I'm kind of happy with this, even though it probably would have been better to, well, this guy try to make a pass or something. He makes his GFIs and dodges and gets in for two dice with tackle. Obviously uses his reroll, gets the pow and gets the cars. So I was at this point I was really happy that I'd uh, <laughs> I'd given up Griff for the blitz. So I think I just, I think I didn't, as then as people in chat had said, why did you even go for the air I was like, oh yeah. So I, I, I reverted to blitzing the air, uh, blitzing the tackle pommer to try and make my players safe. Because I realized that I just didn't care if he scored. So that's why I completely ignored his scoring threat. That guy ran away so he couldn't get hit. Maybe I should have re-rolled that. Maybe I should have agreed with that just to get the push away. And then for the mighty plus two foul. To stop somebody getting mighty blowed. And then it failed. Try to pro it. Dirty dingo. And the wrestle's good for him, isn't it? Better than the push for getting the touchdown. So block would have been better in that situation for sure. Random KO. Yeah, maybe I should agree to that one. Not give up a mighty blow hit. And then he had the chance, a pretty good chance of the uh, handoff pass touchdown, but or just a pass, but failed the GFI. So yeah, he's just going to pass it, but he failed the GFI, and uh, there you go, 18 AV breaks to two. But one of my AV breaks uh, resulted in a CAS, basically, didn't it? In fact, both kind of did because one was one was the surf that the guy was CAS, and the other one was the KO'd. Black Hawk that only came back after it was three after he was three nil down, and 
obviously he got twice as many blocks and uh, I made a bunch of dodges and stuff. He made he made 31 go for it's that game. Um, which is quite a lot of go for it's, but I mean orcs are slow, aren't they? But that is that is a lot of go for it's thirty one, and uh, you know he did pretty good dodge rolls. Is makes sense, but um, his pro wasn't very pro. But there you go. That was uh, that was the game. I was pretty happy with it. I think you know there you go. Anyway, hopefully dodges were poor considering I had agility four on a lot of them. But there you go. Uh, hopefully that's useful there. Um, <laughs> obviously I was pretty lucky to get the uh, to get the wizard and stuff. But you know, it is what it is. Hopefully somebody finds that useful. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.